Okay, let me clear it up for you. Hey guys, I'm Runlex, a Radiant Rainer player currently playing on 0.22 sensitivity and 400 DPI. For the last year, I've been using Raw Excel, and it's how I'm able to abuse such a low sensitivity for accurate shots and still be able to turn at the speed of some high sense players. There's hundreds of Raw Excel videos littering YouTube, so I'll just get straight to the point. Let me break this down super quickly and clearly and not bore you to death. Firstly, if you don't have Raw Excel already, it's a program that modifies the speed of your mouse input to make you move faster the faster you move your mouse. By default, your PC has mouse acceleration on in the Windows settings. You might want to turn this off. It's just going to make you worse at the game that you're playing. On Windows 11, type in mouse settings in the search, go to additional mouse settings, click on pointer options, and turn off enhanced pointer precision. And my advice is to set your point speed to one that feels close to your Valorant sensitivity. You want to be using the same sensitivity all the time on your computer if you don't want to hop on Val and be trashed the next day. This is how I avoid doing my OG one hour warm ups. Once you download the program, extract it to your desktop or a folder of your choosing, like I'm doing right now. And it should look like this. On first time installation, run the installer.exe and restart your PC because that's the raw Excel driver and you're going to need that. When you come back, run the raw Excel executable as administrator. And now we're going to need to configure it. In my Discord, there's plenty of settings that I've posted. I don't use all of the curves, there is only two you should be interested in, classic and linear. Nobody can recommend you a truly perfect acceleration curve because you need to tailor it to your own sensitivity and DPI. Speaking of which, you need to change your DPI and mouse pulling rate to your own in the charts and scale by mouse settings. So for me, my DPI is 400 and my mouse pulling rate is 1000 Hz. Now I'm going to show you how to make a basic curve, and I'll explain what it does. It's unbelievably simple. Your input offset is how fast you want the mouse to move before it actually starts moving faster on your computer. So I'll set it to like 5 here for the input offset, and let's do 0.5. No, it's a bit slow. We'll do 1 for the acceleration. If you see me move my mouse, it's pretty fast when I go over the straight lines threshold on the graph. Now another thing you can mess around with is rotation, as you can see that I'm messing around with here. The rotation is the angle of which you hold your mouse. Left is minus and right is plus. So if you move your mouse slightly to the left when you're holding it, then you would have it at a minus incline rather than a plus. That's why I use minus too. By messing around with this, it basically straightens out your mouse so that you don't accidentally move a diagonal direction. Now we'll do a classic curve, which I recommend if you're able to adapt to multiple sensitivities at the same time because the faster you move your mouse, the faster your mouse will move exponentially. The Raw Excel connoisseurs will probably be salty if I don't make a politically correct curve, so I'll show you how to make a basic classic curve if you're just looking for that sweet curve with a max speed. I'll just copy my previous settings here, and the reason it looks different is because of the DPI scale. I have a 400 DPI if you can see in the settings here, and usually you use a 1600 by default. You can just change it to whatever you want, like I said. Alright, now angle snapping. Angle snapping is essentially a feature that's built into some gaming mice that allows your crosshair to keep on an even level depending on the speed that you move your mouse. The faster you move it, the stiffer it is to allow for precise flicks on head level. Angle snapping is achievable in Raw Excel. You do not need Inter Excel. Inter Excel is not Raw Excel's predecessor, as some creators say. It is the other way around. Inter Excel was the program that existed first. This is clearly stated on the GitHub page. You can achieve anything you can do on Inter Excel with Raw Excel and angle snapping is one of these things. Although it can be a bit trickier, it's still very simple. So you need to go into the folder you extracted raw Excel to, and in there will be a settings.json document. You want to open it with notepad, and when you're in there you want to press Control F on your keyboard and search by angle snapping. Once you've done that, you can see the angle snapping option. You want to change it here to any option of your choosing, I use 15 degrees. Then you want to close Raw Excel, then save the settings folder, reopen Raw Excel as administrator and click apply. Now if you move your mouse really fast from side to side, you will see it's pretty stiff, just like I'm showing right here. When you have a curve configured, you will actually see a third graph appear at the bottom of your Raw Excel instead of the regular two. And that shows your angle snapping, then you know it's definitely working. And that is Raw Excel broken down pretty much. A few final things I'd like to add are, Raw Excel is obviously not bannable, this should become a knowledge by now. It's a preference program. This will not magically make you better at Valorant unless you are able to adapt to multiple sensitivities at the same time. It can give you a slight advantage, yes. If you're high sense, you shouldn't be using this. You do not need it. 
I just use it because it helps in situations where I'm fighting against a neon or a raise and I need to move my mouse faster to get behind me. And usually I can't do that on my sense. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped anyone who is having some misunderstandings of the software understand it a little bit more. If it did, please, please, please subscribe and drop a like or a comment or both. It helps my channel so, so much. You can only imagine. If you want more of these kind of videos, maybe a guide or something, just let me know because I get tons of messages on Discord every day for advice on how to improve in the game. Thank you so much for 600 members in the Discord. That's absolutely crazy. I never thought we'd get that many, to be honest. Holy shit. I know half of you are only there for the settings and some of you are just shy, so you DM me instead of talking in the chat, but it's nice to see a small community building. Also, thank you for 2.5k subscribers. That is actually insane. I still remember breaking down the astronomical size of 300 subs and how much it meant to me about a year ago. It genuinely does mean so, so much to me, guys. I can't believe I've actually been doing this for over a year already. And I mean, I've been wanting to make videos since I was eight years old. I just never got out of the comfort zone to do it. But we're growing slowly but surely. I've got another clip video coming in a couple of days or so. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time. Last night was the last time that you fucked with me. Last night was a bad vibe with the drugs in me.